Not if I had a kid, I'd have to start drinking again. <laughs> for their own sake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it. You'd be a better father as an active I alcoholic. Would, I honestly would. Yeah. I'm a better friend when I'm drunk. I'm just a shittier driver. Yeah, that's true. It is true. Yeah. It's, it's I don't so think it's that's true. Don't drink, Nick. No, it is true. That's why it became a problem is because I'm better when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. You were too charming, so you had to quit drinking. Literally, you yes. so sick of stand up. Shut yeah, up. I was better at comedy. I was a nicer guy. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, so complimentary. That's because you're dry. That's because the, the drink is a symptom of the disease. All you right, have. enough with your politics. So if you're not working no, on yourself, he's not wrong. But it's like no, I'm no, not going to work on myself. Right. I'm just going to yeah. I, I'm just going to sit here. He's going to complain. Well, you're about dry, it. drunk. Then why else get sober than to live a better <laughs> life? Oh, well, here's, here's the trade-off. Oh, you can be a dry drunk? Is that mm -hmm. what they teach you in the fucking program? Or well, yeah, yeah the idea you. is that you drank because you have some kind of like problem. It's like you hate yourself mm -hmm. or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. Which, and yes, then, clearly. But, which you do. Sure. But it's like alcohol, here's what they lie to you about. They're like, yes. alcohol isn't the solution. It's like, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it literally is. It's a short-term solution. There, the problem is, is that the solution has side effects like any medication would. Right. That being, yes. you go to jail. Yes. You, know, like you wake you up commit bleeding. Crash you commit car. statutory rape. Yeah, you commit. You wake up in an Australian rape. man's bed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Those are just side effects. Who <laughs> lied to you and said yeah. he didn't if you rape you? Cancer, <laughs> if you have cancer, you have cancer. I just wake up and be like, like well, I had a Hold on, hold on. We're chemotherapy isn't the solution because, like, you know, this guy's throwing up or whatever. His fucking hair's falling out. The same thing with you know alcohol. So when you just stop drinking and you don't like, mm -hmm. the only reason I haven't started again is because like my life just got like exponentially better from like a financial standpoint like, right, right, so right. Almost, almost the second I stopped drinking I like That's I mean true. I quit drinking and like th like a month later yeah, I like the moved, I put the money together shit. and moved to New York yeah I got like a I made a bunch of money writing I was like able to move to New York then that kept getting better and like there was only there was only maybe two months the entire time I've been in New York where it was like I don't know what's gonna happen so do you have any gratitude for that no that's your problem. That's why you're dry and miserable because you have no gratitude in your life. Yes, that is yeah, true. You have so with many drinking, gifts and wonderful things that but you should be drinking, grateful But with drinking, you don't mm. need the gratitude. You can just be drunk and you then could. it benefits everyone around you, which is honestly kind of, it makes you a better person. But that's yeah, alcoholic that's so thinking. True. That's that's the yeah, thing Nick, inside you that wants to no, destroy Ian you. Ian is one hundred percent right, right. Well, of now. course, but yeah. yeah. Nick should go to therapy. We tell him all the time. <laughs> he should, there's a hundred things he should do that would help him. But listen. You know? Well, just even working on yourself and, and taking all the gifts that you have and giving it the only The only reason else. to stay what sober about is to get sober enough up to, job, to make a dude. better argument than, you know, you, so you can focus mm -hmm. and sit down and convince... And post better. And convince the people that you are supposed to be drinking. But I'm pointing <laughs> holes in everything that you're saying. No, you're not. And Ian is stupid. Am, which There's is no important. holes in it. There's so many holes. If, if something you Nick, do, you be a little bit of Swiss cheese right now. If something, <laughs> if something you do is beneficial to all the mm -hmm. people around you... But, but detrimental it's not. to yourself. But what about yourself? What Who, about yourself? Why are you uh, such a people pleaser that you want to benefit other people? To I don't. The detriment I also want to be drunk because it makes me feel better. There, yep. It's like the trade off. But you is could it's feel bad, better it's without bad for the my drink. physical health. Yeah, but you make this trade off with everything on different scales. It's like fucking like a food addiction or anything or not exercising. Your body is like designed to deteriorate and die. In fact, this like cult of longevity is something that's like a deeper sickness than any kind oh, of fucking terrible. alcoholism. It's terrible. So, I mean, honestly, because it, like, and pl there's science to back this up that the the best thing is actually moderation. But it's like difficult to for you know somebody if you're for an alcoholic to, sure. to, yeah, to to manage moderation. But the but the best thing is moderation. What well, is it working? Um, yeah, we're back. Yeah. So, so anyway, Nick, annoying. Anyways, Nick all, 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 all I'm saying is that you have an incredible life now sober, and if you had a modicum of gratitude, I think you would feel better. Sure, yeah, but you can practice like, oh, I should be grateful for all these things. And I'm, yeah, obviously. Like, Especially I'm for it, me. You know, I, I do think, it or whatever. But why don't you take some of the good things that you have <laughs> but it's like, and it's sort of a snowball thing where you, others. you worry like about... Like who? Like your friend Ian? No. You worry well, yes. about like, oh, I should be... In, I should be like... I should be feel better about my life or whatever because I am very lucky and like mm -hmm. this all this happened and then but you feel not bad so much about luck not is hard work like you've done no, the work no let's yeah. not get crazy it's like uh, you know oh I feel bad about not feeling those things and then it like compounds and it all kind of like snowballs. yeah but if you make a daily gratitude list of things you're grateful for all right but this is all like right, so far from well, like I'm not just saying, not I'm, being funny <laughs> at okay, all. Well, you know I, you know life's not always it's funny. ultimately still a comedy <laughs> podcast well it would be is funny poppers? if you volunteered okay let's 
it, I did I I did volunteer work. So do it again. It's it's actually it was kind of shitty. I mean, like working in a food bank is mostly like you're they make you like police homeless people. <laughs> hey, they're like, don't let her get two milks. <laughs> I'm like, am I supposed to feel good about that? Chill, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, have a Nick, fucking yeah, hose. That, I you turn yell on the that for not because like I'm not enforcing any of those fucking rules. Of course. Yeah. You and know what I'm gonna do? It becomes like a problem between me I was, and me. I was called the, the mustard man. Yeah. It's like I'm gonna get fired from a job that pays zero dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know was, what I'm I was gonna do? The mustard man up in the Bronx. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why? Because I used to drive a van to give like mm. food out, and one time we had to reroute to China. You're like, they're like, hey, mustard man, faggot. Hey, I'm thinking about joining uh, Big Brothers, uh, Little Brothers, mm-hmm. and uh, learning all the new slangs from the what kids. What if it's Big Brothers, <laughs> Little Brothers? Well, I would be the Big Brother. Big Brothers, Little Girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> the Adam Friedland Institute <laughs> for meeting. So you would you would like mentor for meeting uh, children of the night. <laughs> I, children I, of I, the night. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you know, you know Frank's daughter. She's a child of the night. <laughs> yeah, I would rescue oh children of the night. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's funny. So you would be a big brother. I think that'd be nice. That would be nice, man. Yeah, that'd be really fun. Yeah, I could say dead ass to them. Oh, Dude, yeah. you know it's wild. So I'm uh, doing like a um, comedy after school mentor program up in the Bronx. Uh-huh. And it's, oh. at, it's at the same school. <laughs> I, it's at the same school I quit teaching at four years ago. Wow. Randomly. Isn't that Wait, pretty are cool? Wait, are you still um, hosting the uh, the talent show for... My drug and alcohol for center? Your, yeah. uh, I did that in the pit. This year I couldn't, but I am going to the lunch today and bringing clothes. Nice. But Wait, it was the I don't funniest think you ever described ever. it on the pod, but it's so funny. Did I tell you about that? Just like all these guys whose backs are broken by heroin, like doing their oh, talents. Dude, one guy, the whole entire left side of his body was paralyzed, and he was trying to play the drums <laughs> to his girlfriend, like, like reading. But like. Sorry, our, our chord sucks. On pre-order still. It keeps cutting off. I'm sorry, audience. We're sorry. It's okay. It'd be fun if you guys did a Come Town Benefit show. That would be fun, mm-hmm. right? Benefit for what? For the drug and alcohol center, for Katrina, so. maybe. For Katrina, mm-hmm. dude. Yo, what? Your it, eyes it's just in, lit up. It's insane how they still haven't fixed or done aid to homes and everything that got hit by Katrina. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. I guess they they have not even fixed homes that got hit by Hurricane Ivan. Was that before Katrina? Yeah, yeah, like a couple years before Katrina. In New we, Orleans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, in in Alabama, Biloxi, oh, Mississippi. Shit. It's crazy. I didn't know about any of that shit. Yeah, all these places got hit, and then the aid they get just like they send idiots down there to volunteer to help, like me. And did then, you go to? Did you go down yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. It was crazy. You went to Mississippi. I went to Mississippi, Alabama, and uh, Louisiana. Holy shit! How it long? Was crazy. Uh, for like two weeks. Did you get? Did you do any? Dip your little. You're down there trying to see what the local sex workers are like. Mm-hmm. No. Did you have any? Um... Yes. Did you had gay sex? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't. It was a celibate. It was a two celibate weeks trip. Of service. Yeah, it's about yes. help, dude. It's about help. You never know, dude. Work hard, play hard, dude. Yeah, that's true. Where's the most exotic sex worker you've ever? Exotic sex worker. Coconut or exotic bra? place. Both. I'm gonna start drinking again. I'm gonna I'm gonna slide Nick, back. Nick, don't. So. No. I mean it. Give me a shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, Let's I hear just, whiskey. Yeah. I just need one. I just to give. I Let's just hear get them one out. chance. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give him three I, months. If I mess it up, fine. You get the farm. <laughs> I walk away. If that's the deal, and it's a good deal. And it's a good deal. You just need to believe me. You just need to give me a shot. Just give me a chance. I'll prove it to everybody. I'll prove it to everybody. I can do it. I probably could. I couldn't. No, nah, there's no way. Were you we saying need, you were we reading all those like you were reading like articles where it was like I'm your sponsor. No. no, he's no. not. He doesn't need a sponsor. I don't need a fucking sponsor. But weren't you reading articles where it was someone who was exactly the same? It was like, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to have a couple well, drinks. Yeah, no, it was some woman that was saying, like, because I, I do that every like six months or so. Because I, I, I mean, honestly, like, what kept me sober for years was like, I got sober when I was 24. Right. And I was like, okay, I'm going to quit drinking till I'm 30. And I've been 30 for like a year now. And it's like, 
well, you know, I mean, the, like it was a project. It was like I'm going to be sober for the last half of my twenties and see, like focus on Have what you I'm been doing. Sober since 24? twenty four. Twenty since I was twenty four. Damn. So I was like, I'm going to focus on the shit that I'm doing and like. Wait, did like, you just get sober again when when we met? No. Well, we met five when he first years moved, ago. Six yeah. years. No, he ago. got yeah. sober before he moved here. I got sober like but just right before. before yeah. 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 Like five. The years whole time, ago. the whole Baltimore DC era, my man was drunk as fuck. Yeah. But when I, when I saw you down in New Orleans, you were subs. Yeah, it was. I like, got sober. That was and, like, such a letdown. It's like, oh, I'm gonna go to New Orleans with my biggest alcoholic friend, <laughs> right? And then they're sober. And dude, then he's like, sober dude, I, in your dude, I stopped, I stopped drinking. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking. You're terrible. like, yeah, I'm just gonna be silent on Sarah's iPad the entire trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, it was like, you know, it's like, this is like the, it yeah. was like a, 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 like a tangible goal. Right. Just yeah. like get sober, focus on like my career or whatever, like really try with stand up and not just like dr- be drunk and have fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, but then now it, I have like no friend, you know, like, well, it's just, what were you saying? You every six months you do what you look into being able to drink again? Or oh yeah. What? Yeah. So like I read like a fucking, uh, uh, yeah, just like some quora or whatever. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, well, can you drink again? Like what? Like. And some lady was like, yeah, my husband was sober for a very long time, and then he started drinking again. Started off with just one drink on New Year's with friends, and I thought, you know what, that's fine, or whatever. And then a couple of weeks later, he wanted to have a glass of wine with dinner, and I thought, well, that's fine, because I usually do that. Yeah. And she's like, by May, he wouldn't leave the basement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. It's like, yeah, that's probably exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is that drinking rules. Yeah, yeah. It's the best. It's fucking being drunk. Like I tell you, they're they're lit and you probably can't disagree with me on this, but there is no greater feeling than first falling off the wagon. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. 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 Nothing the, the, the first feeling from the, the first tip week of your of a toes relapse. to the top oh, yeah. of your head. <laughs> yeah. Just that warm vodka dude. blanket. Dude, yeah. that, that's what happened. I was that fucking first so line of coke. Nothing, nothing feels it's better incredible. than when you fall yeah. off the wagon and it's like this is what emotions are. Dude, you know, it's you, like, this could, is what, yeah, yeah this but then the, the fucking, thing is, you feel that guilt and shame, and you're like, well, I got to get rid of this, so you keep getting fucked that up. That doesn't happen to me till like, the next day, because my problem is that I have, like, a consumption thing. Mm-hmm. So, like, I feel great about drinking, but then as soon as I'm not actively drinking, I'm like, fuck, I'm losing it. I'm right. losing, like, So then my, you keep drinking. Even though I could be, I like, I would continue to be drunk. Your body's, like, mm-hmm. still processing the fucking alcohol. You could right. have... But you could just be a normal person and have seven or eight beers and relax, yeah. you know. But it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. just a twelve pack and relax, <laughs> like a normal person. Well, no, I mean, what were you gonna say from Adam? three p.m. a normal like drinking day of like three p.m. till fucking eleven, seven a.m. Seven or eight beers is a normal amount seven a.m. <laughs> seven a.m. Well, the British would do that. I mean, back sure. in the day, you, would go, to, of you would go to the pub at, at <laughs> four a.m. Yeah, you do a shot of beer <laughs> and then you go to pound the on the door of the pub at yeah, eleven. Yeah. Yeah, because you're shaking. I know you're in there, it's Rocco. More, it's more shaking than pounding. <laughs> All right, lads. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the factory. <laughs> we top up before the factory starts. <laughs> Take a break out at noon. Back to the pub before heading to the factory well, you get for the another shakes, 12 hours. You're, you're a better welder if you're an yeah. iron worker, mm-hmm. you know? Absolutely. Yeah. So that's what you got to do. What were you going to say, Adam? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't dude, know. I, I just know that I... Like I've been on the yeah, road. Yeah, when you non-stop. have a shitty job going to work drunk, you're like, oh, I'm best. Neo, oh, dude. I'm to, fucking Neo. I beat the system. To, yeah, dude, I would go do you to know work how many? So do you know how many <laughs> phone calls I had to make to go to my car to get vodka out of my glove box when I was a carpenter? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking rule, dude. This drunk carpenter. Yeah, 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 just sloshing I had to around. Go use my car phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know how many times I was like, oh, I need to go get a tool at my house Dude, to I go get at, more I drugs? A, I worked at a call center, and I would show up to the call center drunk, but the uh, uh, they let me work from home at a certain point, oh, and Christ. it was like, bad move. Of course. <laughs> that, that yeah. crazy. And I would start, because like my shift, I would pick the earliest shift I could, so I would get out earlier. Yeah. So it was like, usually I would do like the 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. shift. It was uh-huh. just whatever an eight-hour block is. And I would start, I would like go get, like, I would go to the beer store at like 10 a.m. Yes. And then uh, by the end of the shift, just like <laughs> falling asleep on calls. Yes. And it's like uh, the afternoon. Yes. Know? And it's like, well, then I'm going to take a nap and then like go hang out with friends and do the real drinking. Right. Oh, yeah. That's, well, yeah. Dude, that's I, the warm up. And it doesn't even practice. happen. And then it's like I'm blacked out and passed out by 7 p.m. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's like, okay, time to go have fun. Yeah. 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 And I've, I'm like, I've pissed myself. Well, my favorite thing, and we talked about this a little bit, is like, 
So th- I've been on the road the whole month, mm-hmm. and the first two weekends I was really good. I was like eating while I was exercising. Right. The last two weekends, dude, it just oh that broke slow me. road depression. And it's just like I. So yeah. I'm on the schedule of get so fucked up. Right, you're after the show, you crush. You know, you're trying to fuck. You're just getting you drinks. You keep that high going. You keep the high going. You're yep. getting fucked up. You, you, if you, you fuck, and then you, you get to, and then like just have some. A, a, I know. A nasty That's why I blew a Chinaman in Norway, yeah. <laughs> dude. <laughs> like, you I keep that high going. <laughs> I well, I'm, then you're I'm, so hungover. I have such a fond memory of being in Fort, like somewhere near Fort Stockton, Texas, in like an Econo Lodge in like the middle of nowhere in yeah. West Texas. Like I got a gas station burrito. Yes. And one of those like uh, mm-hmm. the Budweiser like thirty two ounce yes. like, they're forty they're or whatever. Big boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, I was just drinking and eating that microwave burrito and I tried to beat off and there was a mirror in the hotel room and I was just like gross. <laughs> 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 I just couldn't do it. Oh, oh that's great. Yeah, dude. Well, by I, myself. It's <sighs> Rule. Yeah, dude, being on the, that it. last leg then, of being on the road is just so when you fucking, give up, it hits. That's why I'm so happy. Right, I'm in the first week and a half yeah. of relapse yep. where I'm like, I just get and you you spend all day in bed hung over as shit. So I'm like, you have to drink a bunch of water. You have to like do everything you can to get ready for the show. But when the show rolls around, you feel awesome because you've napped all day. You drank like I, I ate healthy the day. The I've eaten like days, salads travesties. or like green juices. Yeah, and then I have a coffee right before I get on stage. So then you have the coffee plus the fucking right? adrenaline. And you're like. Time to get fucked up. Yeah, and there's yeah, yeah. nothing better than the second you get off stage and you're peeking for the day and you're like, all right, right let's see where this goes. Oh, yeah. fuck. Well, I got my, so drunk as I'm fuck. Like, I'm like, like chain smoke cigarettes and drink coffee when I'm on the road because it's like, I just stay up because I want to keep that feeling going. Well, and I just yeah. like, don't. But see, it's I, hard, dude. The feeling, it, it feels so good. I know. It's hard to get to bed. Well, that, even when you're what, being that's healthy. That's why like, I used to go out and try to fuck and I don't do that. And I'm like proud of myself. Because that can be like destructive in itself, for sure. You know, but in the beginning, it's awesome. Just getting so I'm hung over right now, girl. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. Oh, you have a nice Monday. Did you I get it nice in Monday? No, I didn't get it in. I was mature. Mm-hmm. What'd you do? Just got uh, drunk. Just we got didn't drunk. smash. No, you just smoked weed out of pussy chill him? Uh no, no. I just chilled chilled with some uh, some homies. We picked up my dog to watch it over Thanksgiving. Nice. Aww. I mean, you were pretty drunk at Funny Moms. Uh, that's that's where oh, I got that was drunk. Funny Moms. It was good.